Andrew has three and one six walls left to paint in his new house. If Andrew has nine tenth gallons of paint left, how many gallons of paint can Andrew use for each wall? Answer with a fraction in simplest form. Now let's think here. What we're doing is we are taking this nine tenths gallons of paint that Andrew has left and we are trying to divide it evenly amongst the three and one six walls he has. So we're starting with the paint and we're dividing it evenly amongst the walls, leaving us with a division um, problem shown over here to the right. Nine tenths divided by three and one six. Now when we're dividing fractions, the first thing that we need to do is take all mixed numbers and convert them to improper fractions. So in this case, 3 and 1 6, when I convert that to an improper fraction, remember I do whole number 3 times the denominator which is 6 to get a total of 18, and then I add in the 1 to get 19 as my numerator and my denominator remains the same and I still have 9 tenths on the other side. So now I have 9 tenths divided by 19 sixths. And when we're dividing fractions, what we do is we take our divisor, the number that is uh, being split up into, in this case 19 sixths, and we flip the numerator and denominator. So now what we have is not a division problem, but we are going to multiply by 6 nineteenths. So we have 9 times 6, which is 54, over 10 times 19, 190. Now be careful because it says to answer with a fraction in simplest form. So we need to take this fraction, 54 over 190, and uh, simplify it. I know that I could divide both of these numbers by 2 because they both end with an even digit. And that will leave me with 27 over 95. 27 and 95 do not share any common factors apart from 1, so that is the correct answer. 27 95 27 gallons of paint could go on each of the walls left in Andrew's house.